well good afternoon um, it's Wendy here from Woo's Creations I have decided I'm going to show you how I made this card um, I've made this for my husband for his birthday um, with the snail mail suite from Stampin' Up um, I am a demonstrator for Stampin' Up I um, I enjoy making cards so I thought I'd share this one with you um, I made an envelope to match as well you can just add some paper and it makes the envelopes match the cards we used snailed it um, stamp set um, and these are the rubber stamps and they they wash lovely and the detail is really nice too um, we're also going to use a few of these little embellishments they're hearts and some um, white ones some red ones then we have, let me just get all this out because I have pre-cut some things because um, it can take a little while and you don't want to watch me cutting everything out. There is a few bits I will have to cut out but mostly I've done them. So we do have the snail mail paper um, in, this, in the suite comes some die cuts um, and to which actually these pieces um, that one is for to cut out the mushroom so I stamped it and coloured it and then I placed it in my big shop and I cut it out this was the first one I made so I wouldn't do those colours again but you can have fun colouring them in and things anyway and you've also got some other mushrooms um, and some hearts um, and then this one cuts out a different snail off the papers. If I can find the ones I've got left. So these are the papers, and then they're all they come as 12 inch by 12 inch, and they're all double sided. And then um, which one is it? So as you can see, there's some really nice paper. So we've got the red one, which has got some beautiful mushrooms on the other side. And which one is it? I'm trying to, this one. So this one is slightly different to the other one with the um, snail with the moustache. And then this one is the one that you can... So say if you don't like colouring, you can place it on there and you can cut it straight out from there. So no, I even need to do any colouring in, really. Um, and you can fussy cut any of those ones that you really, you know, you like. Um, the same goes for uh, this little one. It's only little, but you'll find that on here it will cut out your little letters. So if you wanted to do like, um, like they've done on here, like a scattering of letters, um, it cuts out those two. Um, and you can put quite a few letters because you can make... Let me move the papers out of the way again. You can make... Where's the card? Oh, I'm messy today. Okay, so you can make this, which is a little envelope. So you cut it out on the die cut, which is here. And then you just fold in the sides and, and the top is the opening as well. You can even close it and use it as an envelope. And then this little piece here is the letter part. And they've got this lovely stitch detail around the edge um, of the cards and the envelope. So I'll be cutting them out after. So let's have a look what we've got. Right, I've got some scrap pieces of paper here as well. But I won't be needing all of them. Okay, so this is the first card that we are going to make. I have cut out a few bits and bobs to try and help speed up the process. So what I've got is a piece of paper with all the measurements on where have I put that. There it is. So we have basically we take an A4 sheet and I trim. It's usually uh, twenty nine point eight centimeters. 29.8 centimeters by 21 
So what I do is I trim the longest width down to 29 so that I don't have to fuss about with the point ones and twos. I can do it without that but it's, it's just much easier. So then we have the A4 and you can get two cards from one sheet of A4 and you can do it two ways. So you can take your A4 sheet, put it into your trimmer and score down the middle at um, so if you're doing it on the 21 side, so if you score at 10.5, 10 and a half, and then you turn it the other way and then you cut it, you end up with two, two cards that fold this way. Um, and then you can also do it the other way where you fold it and it folds over the top, which is, okay, this is a sneak peek at the next card we're going to make after which is just showing you a different fold okay so then this one is the other way so you would then score it on the um, longest side nope <laughs> sorry you score at 10.5 and then you cut at 14.5 so then you have this you have two sheets like this with the score down the middle to make your card like this. <sighs> Getting so confused today, it's ridiculous. Or you can do it the other way where you you score at 10.5 and you cut at 14.5. So you're cutting in half and then you get the card that goes that way instead. So let me just move this and this is the strawberry suite I want to show you after so we'll get on to that in a little bit so let's get back to this one I snailed it okay so show you what we're gonna do get the card back just move these pieces out of the way for a minute this one so right we have so we'll keep that over there for a second so what I have here are cut out pieces, but what you do is, is you've got your folded in half card and then you open it up and all you have to do is open it up and then fold that section back and score it with the bone folder or with your finger, you know, with anything you've got until you, you know, I've not long had the bone folder so that's sorted. So then you end up with this sort of shape. So what you do is you then cut out, we have four that are four and a half centimetres by 14 centimetres. So when you put them onto your card, you have a border all the way around. So you cut four of these because I think it just looks you don't have to cover like those two sides but I just think it looks much neater if you do because then if the card is stood up on a mantle obviously you'll be able to see these pieces so what I do is I put that one there and there so there and there and then this one would go there and the other one will go there. Then we have this piece which is four oops, sorry, knocking the camera. Fourteen across by ten no it's not, it's fourteen down by ten across, and that's for the um the inside. Now normally with a card you would leave this pretty blank so you can write in it, but we're gonna pop a little um a sentiment square which will be this lovely little stitch square that'll go there and um, you can put your sentiments and your um, leave space then for whoever purchases to put their their own details or for yourself obviously because I use mine for my husband so I think we could and then we have we could we'll start sticking them down in a second then we have two pieces so I wanted this one to coordinate with this, but obviously I didn't want it to be the, exactly the same, obviously because of that. Or oh, did I use it the other way around? Hang on a second. 
no definitely that way <laughs> so you put that in there like that and then this is like a mask backing for that one so you put place that on there then that will sit on the front of the card that way and you'll put your sentiment on here so I have um, we'll put a snail on there and then have the little envelope with the happy birthday on the the card inside the envelope so I shall show you that in just a second let's glue all these down first um, we will need to stamp a couple of things so I'm going to pause you while I cut out the cards and also cut out the square okay so first we need to stamp our snail so uh, we're going to go for that one which is here and my, my block okay so we want the black which is the memento and let me just stamp it on like so put that aside because I'll need to wipe that down okay so we are going to colour we need the dark cajun craze and colour in just go over the line slightly like so and um, because we're going to do some shading and things so this bit doesn't need to be very neat um, obviously not going onto the body part of the snail or outside of the shell like so actually I do her body shade in there then we take the dark calypso coral It's a bit squeaky, I apologise if that's really squeaky on you. So then you just go over the dark as well so that it sort of blends it in. So you're just colouring it in. And then when you've finished it, it looks like it's been painted. So this is light magenta madness so we'll go on the present do a bit of colouring on there making sure not to go out of the lines because even though when we we're going to um, cut it out it will be um, it will leave a sort of a like an edging so if you go out of the lines it will still be seen so it's best to try not to go out of the lines now I usually colour the body as well so I think we'll go with some light rich razzleberry seeing as she's a beautiful snail So you just colour it in like you would normally. Like so. Um, and if you're wondering, this is out of the uh, new mini catalogue that runs um, until May, I believe. Um, could be June but okay then we're taking the dark raspberry doing the spots on here and then just do a little bit of shading around her front and up there then it looks a little bit more sort of, uh, a bit more 
a bit more fun really isn't it and then I'm going to give her blue eyes so what I do is I literally just do a very slight hint of blue around the outside of the black piece now with the new catalogue as well you also we have a celebration so when you spend £45 you can choose a free item um, we have a little booklet and if you're interested I can give you the mini the mini cat I can I've got some catalogues and some mini catalogues on order so once they arrive if you want to send me a message with your address I can post them out to you you um, also if you spend £90 you can get one of the bigger sets and one of them is you're getting double the amount of stamps for um, your money basically so you place an order and you'll get a free a free stamp set which you choose out of a little mini book a little mini book um, and one of those free sets is the Berry Blessings so you're getting a full set or oh, excuse my pink ones when you when you put pink on them they die but I need to clean them up to get them clear again so you get a nice full set of stamps with some nice very coordinating wishing you the very best bountiful blessings you always have a way of making my day that also comes with papers but I'll show you those later and you spend £90 and you get the stamp set and a full set of 12 by 12 um, designer series paper um, with strawberries and blueberries and things and I can show you those in a bit when I show you the other card so there we go, we've, we've, we've coloured in our snail so we need to choose choose papers for the letter to be in so I think we'll have the envelope in this one have I got a smaller piece of that I wonder I thought I did so, okay, so I'll be back in just a jiffy after I've cut out these bits. Right, so here we go. Let's just get all of these off here. My well used plates. <laughs> okay, let's move those out of the way. Okay, so we've cut out of our stitch square. And look, it's got a beautiful, I love this, it's got a cute little ridge around the edges like a stamp so put that to one side don't need that then we have also cut out our oh it's cutting them at the same time so so there's a the little stitch detail little card notelet to go inside our envelope and here's our envelope so that's going to be the outside so I shall be folding it over in just a second I think I'll do it that way so that there's not a snail sticking out of an envelope right I'm just going to move my things out of the way scrappy bits of paper oh and here's the snail there we've cut her out if you can see it and see her so you colour it in I should have gone slightly more over that way as you can see the white edge on this side is a bit smaller than that side but she'll look fine once she's on the card she'll be on here on there I'll put her off to one side and then the envelope will go at the top with the little notelet sticking out with happy birthday so I need to find my happy birthday which I, I absolutely adore the happy birthday in here it's nice and small now this one is in the brochure for starting so it's like a very uh, like a starter stamp set um, and it's got for you thank you and happy birthday and off the top of my head I can't remember how much it is but it's I think it's it's less than 16 or it is 16 um, and it's got beautiful flowers so you can make like a little bunch um, and it's you know many seasons that's pretty much this like a Christmassy stamp so yeah I use this one a lot for the thank you the happy birthday and these flowers I love these 
um, and it's also a great one for colouring in if you enjoy a bit of that as well. So we're going to use the Happy Birthday and as you can see I use a lot of pink and purples because it tends to dye the stamps quite a lot. So we'll pop that onto a block and I think we will stamp this one in, should we do this one black? Okay so And because these, the, it's photopolymer, you can see through it, so you can line it up without too much... I'm going to try and do it for you to be able to see, but also making sure I get it straight. Because <laughs> when you're not looking over the top of it, it's pretty hard. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty straight. So, um, yeah, so that's that done. So we've done that stamping. And then on here... Uh, we are going to put, have we got anything on here? Um, so happy birthday will be on the front. This will be your inside, um, your inside sentiment. So I'm trying to think now what we can put on the inside. We could put you snailed it or I might just put a little simple hello. Because we've not got a, you know, it's not usually a massive um, inside thing to stamp on. So we will put that onto a board. And we will stamp that in the middle. Do it for you can see, sorry. Still getting used to doing the videos. There we go. So I have done that slightly off to one side, which isn't ideal so I have a plan so inside the um, snail mail stamp set we have a individual heart now you can cut these out um, you can stamp you can stamp this and then we do have a where is it there it is we do have the die cuts for the hearts as well so you could stamp a couple and cut them out at the same time as something else but today I'm just going to show you what you can do so I'm going to just going to move this one out of the way because I don't want to put a black heart in there do we? so I'm going to grab my real red and tidy up a bit boy am I messy today right so because I did that slightly too far over you can just pop a heart and it looks like you've done it on purpose so we can do no we're not going to do that I was going to do a double heart then and actually yeah, there's not enough room or I'd overlap them and then it looks silly well that's what I think anyway you can do whatever you like okay so let's move that out of the way so now we have our sentiment stamped put the ink away before I stick my arm in it because that's what I usually do okay so we're just going to fold our little envelope over now so fold up the bottom give it a score where's me score then fold up this side give it a score then this side give it a score now you can have it either way really oh why is that not done that right let's have a look oh no it is right okay so always fix that actually there we go that's more straight um, you can leave it like that but I actually prefer to have no oh, I don't know whichever way you fancy I think those go on the inside don't they do you know what you would think I hadn't made one of these cards before and I made one just a few days ago so we are going to pop those in but obviously you don't want to um, stick the envelope itself down. Oh, way too much glue. There we go. So that like, makes it like a cute little envelope. So when you fold the top over, you crease it, it makes it pop out slightly. So when you take your happy birthday and pop it just inside, you can take... I like to use a dimensional. These are the teeny weeny teeny weeny dimensionals and I like to pop one on there 
so that I can stick the card. So when I put it in the envelope, just pull it out a little bit because it's not showing the birthday. There we go. Happy birthday. So we'll glue, take our card, and we'll just put a bit, bit of glue on the back and pop it onto the onto here like that then we will take our snail and we will use the dimensionals but these are the bigger dimensionals so we'll just pop a few of these on here I like to put one in the middle so that it doesn't collapse or anything like so and then maybe a little one just here and here that actually might be a bit overkill but she isn't gonna fall off is she okay I do apologize if you can hear background noise I mean I'm homeschooling an eight-year-old a seven-year-old and I have a feral three-year-old who likes to get involved with the screaming and the shouting and the causing chaos so this is going to go here so I'm going to use a bit of if it'll work for me today hold on there we go um, this is a bit more instant stick than the um, you have a little bit of wiggle room with the Tombow liquid glue whereas this once you put it on it's on which it, which is very handy when you're trying to do something you do not want to fall apart so I'm just gonna pop that there so you've got like a 3d effect because we've used the dimensionals to um, help do that so okay so we're going to bring back in our cards and glue everything together. Okay, let me just... Okay, so let's glue these on. So pop a bit of glue on the back. Oh, don't splodge it everywhere. And then line it up. And like I said, you have a bit of wiggle room with the uh, Tombow, so you can put it on and then just give it a little, a little press. I mean, how cute are those? <laughs> lots and lots of little rows of snails. I must admit, I have a bit of a soft spot for snails. This is a bit bizarre though. I can't understand why we hate slugs so much, but we love snails. Except when they're eating my tomatoes. That's the only time I don't really like snails. But I don't like killing them either. So I like to prevent them getting on my tomatoes rather than killing them for eating my tomatoes. Okay, let's put this one on. Okay. A bit too much, never mind. Okay, so line it up. Pop it on. Oh, goodness me, phone's going mad. Okay. And then the last one of these long ones. I will, um, I will write down the measurements and I'll pop them on my blog. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not very good at, I'm, I've only just started and I haven't got the hang of blogging yet, so I will, um, get a bit more training from my upline um, and then I'll try and get into the habit of making sure I do my blogs um, but as you can imagine homeschooling in lockdown and we've just been told that chances are they won't go back till after February half term and today is the 8th of January so uh, yeah but better safe than sorry as far as I'm concerned I would rather keep mine at home okay so there you can see 
we've got nice pretty little colours. On the original card I used coloured card as the background um, but I thought I'd do it on Whisper White on this one um, to make these colours pop out a bit more but as you can see it does frame it very well when you put it coloured at the back. Okay let's move the dimensionals out of the way because we don't need those now. So then what we need to do is work out where these are going to go. So that's going to go there. Now I haven't got anything to go here. So I could just put that in the middle because once I've put that on the front you won't be able to see it which is pretty cool. So I think what we'll do is we'll work out I thought that should really go in the middle but yeah there about there so I am going to mark it just so you can see what I would do normally is work out where the middle is like so turn it over and I only want glue on this uh, on this half and for this I will use the stamp and seal so on this side I haven't run out already. Surely not. Oh, why is it not working? Okay, change plan. We'll just add a little bit of glue on here. I haven't had any trouble with my stamp and seal before, but obviously as soon as you go live, dun dun dun. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and get that as square, um, probably isn't square because I'm not over the top of it. Because I'm trying to make sure you can see. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, I do apologise. The child has come in. Hello. Hello. Okay, now we're going to glue the middle piece inside. Yes. So <laughs> we're going to glue this on here. Put a bit of glue around the edge and in the middle. Yes. Yes. And then we're going to pop that in the middle. Oh, I like how simple that is with just that on it. Mm -hmm. Little bit on here, yes. Pop that in the middle. So when you close the card, you can't see it. And there you go. Now, we could stop there, but I think we need some embellishments so let's get a couple of little hearts out like this okay so we've got white and we've got red ones mom you got the pen i got a pencil yeah got the pen. so we'll place one there and a white one oh, obviously up the right way mom just do this this. Just do these. Yep, so put those two on and then we'll have another red one down here. I think that's enough of those. And then the last thing I put onto the other one was, if I can find it, because I dropped it, there we go, Wink of Stella. Now I don't know how I've managed for so many months without this because this is dimensionals um, this this is beautiful when you put it on and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera but it uh, it gives the card such a lift so I go all the way around the edge of this piece and it's like a liquid with uh, just a very fine <laughs> go on then go and get on the toilet no I can't open the door I okay mummy's coming that again so this is wink of stella now i've put it all the way around the edge here and i'm going to put a bit on the card because it's a bit it needs a bit of bling doesn't it really and then i like to put a bit on the hearts and some on her eyes obviously she needs a bit of bling and maybe a bit on her shell like so bit on a basically I just go mad I absolutely adore it and I don't know if you can see 
that it makes it just all glittery. So there you go, first card made. Okay, so the second card is going to be made with these. So we have Berry Blessings and Sweet Strawberry. Okay, so let's get down to some business. <laughs> um, Berry Blessings is uh, the celebration but I also bought Sweet Strawberry at the same time because um, I think they would go very nicely together. And with the um, celebration item, Berry Blessings, you also get papers. So I'll just move my little leaves and things out of the way. So the paper basically is you've got um, numerous different prints and they're all 12 inch by 12 inch, which is just, it is just amazing. Well, I think it is anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this one. And then on the other side of that is like, um, that would that would complement that too. Um, but this is my favourite, the berry, berry, the berry seeds. So what I've, what I've liked, to, what I've done is I've cut four. So basically, same principle as the other one. So the card is cut as a you know a top opening you could do it sideways as well that way if you wanted to oh something on there so that way and um, i generally use them that way but this time we're going to turn it sideways and then all you do is you fold it over and crease it with your bone folder um, you can you can just measure halfway and use your score tool to do it and then again i have cut out some pieces ready so this one is 14 by 10 again, but obviously it's going to go that way in the card. Cut out some other pieces and things. Then with these, I am going to put them so that we have... Oh, which way round did I have this? Do you know what? You wouldn't think I'd only done this last night. Okay, so we're going to put it that way. So strawberries there, and then this piece we'll stick onto there and we'll go across like so get the plan okay let's glue these on first so that we can get our card made so I can show you some other things so I'm gluing these on a bit of wiggle room so you can get it in the right place glue it on And then we've got the big one. I mean, look at that print. That one is just beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So, with this stamp set, with the um, strawberries, um, not the berry blessings, the sweet strawberry, um, you can buy a punch, which I'm ordering very shortly. Um, and that one cuts out um, a strawberry, some leaves, and um, the flower, and a stalk. But if you wanted to get the strawberries and um, you didn't really want the punch, if you wanted to punch out flowers, I have discovered since that the one flower on the paper will cut out with the small blooms punch. I'll show you in, in a minute because I've done it. Let's glue these on. So a bit of glue on there. Stick that in there. And the thing is, once you've done this card a couple of times, it just becomes really simple and you can just, uh, you can make, and you know, if you're making one card, you may as well just do a few at a time. Uh, and then even if you don't put the sentiments on, you can keep them, um, keep them blank until you need one so there we go oh, a bit too much glue there see I'm a bit I'm a bit frivolous with my glue I need to be care I need to be more careful okay so last piece the only thing I will say with um, cutting out the paper is don't do what I did 
and I cut out four I cut out these four ready for this and then I measured the other piece that I needed for that one and cut it going the same way <laughs> because obviously it needs to go the other way so just be just be wary when you're cutting it out that you're cutting the shape the right way but the piece I cut is fine because I can use it on another card so that's those four done so then you end up with your card like this which looks really cute so then with these ones you have some beautiful um, sentiments so today we're going to be using um, you always have a way of making my day and on the front we're going to put uh, let's have a look that was so sweet of you so I've picked out two sentiment shapes that are punches um, in the in the in the main catalogue these are pu these punches are and then I've also cut out I fussy cut a couple of strawberries out um, and then we've got a sprig punch and I sprig punched loads of different shades of green and some white um, a while ago so I've dug those out and then these this is the flower stamp so you've got the outline and the inner and then this was perfectly punched out with the small bloom punch so um, and then what I do is a tip from Ruth at Artful Stampin was to get your tweezers place them halfway and then give them a bit of a twist to give them a bit more dimension when you're trying to put them on your when you put them on your card they're not just flat and we all like a bit of a an uplift on our cards and then just do that shape it a little bit and we're ready to go so let's decide which one's going where so that was so sweet of you is going no that's not that one that was so sweet of you is there I've not used this one yet so it's very sticky okay I'm going to put that on there now I think I'll stamp these in memento black so this one was for the outside of the card onto the onto the block so let me just put it where you can see it as well as me. I like to get it straight on the on the pad. There we go. There we go. That was so sweet of you. Now you can you can do stuff with this. Um, I'll show you in a second. Just to sort of soften it. It's just very black and white, isn't it? So we'll do that. Let's just take that off there for a second and get the uh, no it's not that one <laughs> it's this one so it's you always you always have a way of making my day which I absolutely adore okay that's the thing with stamping up as well is that most of the stamps come with sentiments on them so um, and they're usually quite you know they're different depending on what stamp set you get and they usually go with like the stamps so you can mix and match them all so just stamp that there okay so what you can do to soften it off a bit I'll clean those after is you could let's have a look what we've got let's grab red ink and what you can do is I don't push down I don't push hard I don't do it just let it run across so all it does is coats the very edge of your circle with red um, you can use um, blending brushes as well and just blend the edge but I like the more crisp the more crisp one just because this one 
is um, it's a more detailed card I don't like to make it too different um, actually we can do it with this as well so this one's a bit harder because it's got the bits that go in but I just do where I can on them like so there we are so it just outlines it you can see it against there that it outlines it a bit more okay so then what we need to do is assemble it all now with this one I have filled <laughs> the space where you would write your name and things so you can always the sentiment can always go on the back so that that would work just as well so let's get that glued in there so a bit of a glue on the back there we go and then I fussy cut the strawberries out because I thought well it wouldn't look wouldn't look amazing wouldn't it look amazing <laughs> goodness me I can't even talk today it's been a while since I did a video there we go and then we could stick those there so we'll just put a bit of glue there share it onto the other one so that can go there and then that one can go there so that's those glued down as well so then you've got your your front panel so we'll glue that one up glue it onto there bit of wiggle room to get it in the right place there we go okay and then that is going to go on to there like so but before we do that let's just decide where everything is going so that's going to go in the middle and then we're going to put maybe a white one and that there and now these can stick off the edges because obviously it's not covering the whole of the front of the card so they can pop off a little bit um, I don't know whether the dark green would look right oh it looks alright actually and a bit of light green up there oh <laughs> still got glue on my finger like so and then is that enough I think and then we'll have one flower up there and two flowers down there okay so let's just move them out of the way a second so what we need to do is stick this down so I am going to put some dimensionals on here, but I'm not going to put them too close to the ends because I want them to, uh, I want to be able to get the stalks in. So I'm going to put them on like that. Oh, nearly put it on upside down. That would have been marvellous, wouldn't it? Okay, is that the middle? Ish. Mm, okay, that will drive me insane, but never mind. Okay, so then, take our lovely leaves and decide where these are going again. Now, I should be using my tweezers. Where are they? There they are. There we go. Then we're going to put one flower there, one flower there. Maybe we need another sprig on that one actually. I think we'll put another green just there. And then that flower will go 
there. Okay, so take the flower off. So then what I would do is grab them both at the same time. Oh, turn them over. Pop a little bit of glue on the backs of them. And sort of mix them up a bit so they, they will stick together as well. And then just slide them in like so. So they stick down. And then the flower, probably got enough glue there, but we'll put a little bit more there. The flower goes on the top, like so. And then we'll do the same with the other ones, but this time we're not going to try and gather them up first, like so. So we put a bit there, a bit there, a bit there, and then we can stick them back in where they were. And then that flower can use the glue that I've way too much on there. There we go. And then we'll put a little bit of glue on this one. Now it's stuck. And there we go. Right, that's that piece. So then, work out roughly where it's going to go. There. I would normally use the stamp and seal, but I need to have a look at I think I've dislodged the tape on it. So. some glue on there there we go and then just push it down minding not to squash the flower okay and there you go let's move all these out of the way so we've got this is the card I made for my husband with the fancy fold. Um, I coloured that one better, I feel. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see the Winker Stella on that one I put on there. So that's that one. Then we've got the second one we, I made, which is using snail mail again. But you've got room for your, your to and froms on there as well. And it looks cute when you stand it up. And then we've got the Berry Blessings, um, which is really cute. So there you go. That is our cards for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to see more videos, I will learn how to not babble um, so that we can get on with it. But it's been fun. I love making cards. As you can see, I really enjoy it. So um, if you would like a catalogue or you would like to chat about anything, just give me a message at wooscreations.co.no, <laughs> com. Oh dear. Um, I will be popping the pictures of these onto my Facebook page. I have Facebook. Um, I'm going to load it up onto YouTube as well. So um, if you would like to give me a like and a share that would be amazing but by giving me a like it helps to boost my uh, my youtube base uh, but thank you so much for joining me i hope i can join you uh, you can join me again soon thank you bye